We're going to begin with a deadly tornado outbreak. At least 20 twisters were reported in three states. Several people were killed and at least a dozen injured. The small town of Greenfield, Iowa was hit hard. And our Victor Akindo is there on the scene for us this morning. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, Robin. The town of Greenfield is hurting this morning. So many homes look like this now. A tornado leveling this one. Neighbors say that it happened within just a matter of minutes. Their lives totally upended. You can see clear inside to what was the kitchen. You can make out the refrigerator just next to it. That cabinet there. Authorities confirming multiple people have died and at least a dozen were injured. Oh, house going. House gone. Oh. Overnight, deadly twisters ripping through the heartland. If you were in Red Oak, please be in your shelter now. Swaths of southern Iowa completely flattened in their path. Greenfield, just outside Des Moines, hit especially hard. Authorities say there were confirmed fatalities and at least a dozen people were taken away in ambulances. We do believe we have everybody accounted for, but we just want to make sure that with our search efforts, obviously this tornado has devastated a good portion of this town and community. Governor Reynolds proclaiming a disaster emergency for 15 counties. There's just a bunch of crashing. I heard windows shattering and I heard like branches from trees creaking and snapping. Houses with roofs ripped off. This car flipped onto its hood. I'm not normally a guy that gets scared, but I was scared. His son's home ripped off its foundation. I saw my house. I was first off, glad I was not in it. But I mean, there's just all your memories and your own home, everything that you worked so hard to build, just gone. Entire blocks wiped out. In nearby carbon, debris flying everywhere. There's somebody here. Storm chasers rushing to this destroyed house. Are you in shelter? All right, nobody's hurt looking for survivors trapped under what remains of their home. While in Prescott, this wind farm on fire, turbines destroyed once that powerful storm moved through. Many in the tight-knit community back in Greenfield still in shock. To see all these homes that I've known my entire life to be completely flat and completely gone <sighs> was very devastating and surreal. Just heartbreaking scenes. The closest hospital sustained damage too. Now a triage center has been set up at Greenfield High School. Greenfield is home to about 2,000 people. Neighbors describe this place as the type of town where everyone knows each other and this morning their hearts are broken.